वेलकम बैक एवरी वन इन टूडेज टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन मेक ऑटोमेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ डेटा एंट्री लाइक दिस वन हेयर यू सी दैट एज आई एंटर द डेटा ऑफ एनी एम्प्लॉय एंड देन प्रेस द सेव रिकॉर्ड द डेटा इज सेव इन दिस रिकॉर्ड शीट इफ यू रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन लर्निंग टू डिवेल्प सच ऑटोमेटिक डेटा एंट्री प्रोसेस लाइक दिस वन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू so don't skip and stick to this tutorial till end don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos so here you see that i'm going to start this tutorial from the scratch first of all i need to make the header of the information that i want to save then i will select these two cells and merge them across by pressing this merge and center button from the home tab then i will increase the width of the cells by dragging them now i am going to increase its font size i am going to write the information that i want to get for example i need the id name job title department country and the net salary again i'm going to increase the font size adjust the width of the cells again now because i don't want to see these grid lines so i'll go to this view tab and then under the view tab i will uncheck this grid line option i will select these two columns apply border to them i am just going to zoom this worksheet so that i can see the information more clearly then i am going to fill these cells with some color now our basic structure for the employee information is completed our next step is to put some information So now you see that I have filled the data with any employee information. After this, I am going to this F column, and here I will write equal, and then select the first record that is the ID, and after this I will press enter. To get the rest of the information, I'll go to the bottom right corner and drag this cell to down. So here you see that. i get all the information in this f column now i will create another sheet and in this sheet i am going to create the list of the record that i want so i am going to the first sheet and select these cells copy them go to the sheet 2 and here you right click and go to paste special and in the paste special select the values and also check the transpose and press okay adjust the width of the cells select and press the short key that is control t to create table and then in the create table window check the my table has headers and press okay so here you want to save your record but you have to create another sheet and this sheet will be used as a dummy you don't need to format anything in this sheet now this is the time that we need to record our action with the help of macros for this purpose we have to get this developer tab over here if the developer tab is enabled then it is okay if the developer tab is enabled you just simply need to right click on these ribbons and then go to the customize ribbon and check this developer in this list and press okay my developer tab is already enabled so i am going to cancel this window now i will go to this developer tab and then i will click this record macro i will give the name data entry to this macro and press okay 
when i press ok it started recording my actions so first i am going to copy these cells and paste them in the sheet 3 and while pasting i'll go to the paste special and select the values and check the transpose click ok after this i will copy this with the help of short key control c i'll go to the sheet 2 here i will go to this first cell and under the home tab i'll go to this insert option and select insert copied cell then you have to go to the sheet 1 delete all these record select the first cell and then we need to stop our macro recording for this purpose again i will go to this developer tab and here this time i will click stop recording so my macro has been recorded then again under the same developer tab i will go to this insert option and select this button and draw this button under the employee record i will link this with the macro and press ok will edit it and give the name save record and press anywhere on the worksheet again i'm going to put some information and after putting the information i simply have to press the save record button and you see the information is saved in this list and there you have it this is all about how you can create the automatic data entry process in microsoft excel using macros if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update if you have any question or suggestion for future tutorials drop them in the comment section thanks for tuning in to know how and until next time Happy Excelling!